All right, guys, welcome back. And I, I got bodied by a motherfucker named Barnabas. I need my run back. I got my ass whooped by someone named Barnabas. Got new hunts. Got a bunch of new shit. Right. Gav said that Otto might know something. Let's restock and uh. And check out the hunts. If you're gonna buy some, be quick about it. Rune blade. I can only assume that there's a better version in the shop. You're rubbing me blind, you know. You'll not find a better price than that. You're rubbing me blind, you know. So what do I owe the honor? I want to see what wares you what got. You Rune blade plus one, exactly. Give me that. Not bad, if I do say so myself. And we will. You can thank me later. Cool. Rune belt, not as good as what I have. Oh, but it is better than a uh... it lost you a good while. You can thank me later. This is what I want, though. The Sons of Ouroboros. That it? Fine. If it's knowledge you seek... Hmm... Maybe we got those hunts we can get the Ouroboros piece. Cole said it was an army of a How are we supposed to do our duty? Alright, we got two. Oh no, never mind. We just got one. What is this? Oh, that was the Lost Wing Sambreak dude. It's a dread comment, a rank. The hunters of Tabor speak of a wild chocobo that haunts not only the nearby battlelands, but also their dreams, for it exhibits a ferocity rarely seen in the species and has ripped more than a dozen of their comrades from gizzard to groin and feasted on their flesh. The bird is far past taming. It must needs... It, it must needs to be... It must needs be put down. Sickle Dalmechia. Okay. Well, just the one. We do this, uh, we get a renown upgrade, right? Welcome to the patron's whisper. No, we don't. You've already got that one. Alright. Where did it say? Up here? Rasmus flat. Oops. How may I help you today? I'll be here waiting.
All right, the sickle of Dalmechia. All right, cool. Here we go. Also closest to that. Guess we'll go here. Here it is. Thanks, girl. Damn, I was about to drop kick it. Okay, uh, overgrown parakeet. Shit doesn't have a stagger meter. Ow. I messed up. Damn it. Just a Giga Flare to the ass. Shit, it's just gonna keep spamming comments? Got it. Comet Feather. Okay, well, we'll need that for something else. Damn. Rest in peace. That's a cool looking chocobo, though. Would be lying, though, if I didn't mention it looked like a, um, a parrot. For us to get out of here and go talk to Otto. 
I'll have to restock once again, then talk to Anno. Mm -hmm. Ah, it's a dangerous world, Albert. You'll not find a better price than that. Come again. Oh, don't. I'm not much bothered either way. Cole said it was an army of a cash. How are we supposed to do our duty when the hills are God? But if you're here, where well, the hell is everyone else? Don't tell me. They're all right. But it's a long story. You lot don't do things by halves, do you? Well, at least everyone's still breathing. Now, as for these writings, I'm sorry to say, Clive, but if you had those, you'd be... Sitting under a pile of rubble, I know. But we were able to save a few bits and pieces from the ruins, most of which ended up being used to build this place. The more personal items we go to the next to keep. In the case of Sid's things, that would be mid. Then I'll check the workshop. And bro got boils. Gross. This looks like it's from Sid's old diary. Uh, but you'll already have read it. I'd better keep looking. We've had no word from Canva for days. What do we have here? Uh, Sid's pipes. Something tells me Mid won't be needing these. Seeing this doll in Sid Sola. I wonder if it was Mids. Huh. What's this tucked inside it? A riddle. Mididol. I know you like your riddles, so I reckon you'll appreciate this one. Of all my inventions, this one's the best, and so when choosing its place of rest, I recalled your opus, daughter Darius, and now it sleeps there in the first. I'm going to have to work on that last rhyme. Good luck. Yeah, I was about to say, you dropped the ball there. Okay. Uh, of all my inventions, this one's the best. For a second there, I thought he was gonna, he's going to be talking about mid. Kind of seems like something I'll follow with best it. invention. Would be mid, right? Promising. A parent's best invention would be their kid, right? So Sid hid something in Mid's first opus. What would that be? Hmm? Perhaps Otto might know. Then again, maybe invention isn't the best word. I guess he'd be her best creation. Or she'd be his best creation, I mean. Well, did you find anything? Possibly. You wouldn't happen to know what Mid's first opus was. Opus? 
That girl's as tone deaf as a banshee. Unless you mean the orchestrion. She couldn't have been more than what, 11, 12, when she cobbled that thing together? It surprised us all. <laughs> At least her dad. You should have seen how proud he was of the little scamp. What's that battered old box had to do with anything? I think Sid may have hidden something inside it. <laughs> Wouldn't surprise me. Those two and their bloody treasure hunts. Half the things in the hideaway were hidden one time or another. said it was an army of a cash I didn't break it I mean I didn't break it what didn't you break nothing we didn't break nothing we definitely didn't break your cash What's wrong with it? It's broken! Except when it isn't. See? And you had nothing to do with this? No, nothing. We just wanted to listen to all the songs at once. So we press all the buttons. Like this. I guess there's like a button combo. Well, right out of the way. This something caught on one of the gears. Did you break it? Can you fix it? No, I mean, yeah, yes. There. How about now? You fixed it. Sid fixed it. He more than fixed it. Yeah, new music. Huh. Never heard this one before. They started playing when I removed this. Whatever it is. Well, don't look at me. Maybe oh, mid would know what it is. No. Sid showed it to me once and said as much. Said it was the stuff dreams were made of. <sighs> Let's just hope it's the stuff ships are made of as well. Indeed. Let's see if we can make some dreams come true. The hell is that? Like father, like daughter. Just the two I was looking for. There you are. Hi, hi. Who's a patient? Actually, yes. The Crown Prince just left. Dion left? Unless oh, you have another no. word for stood up and walked off. Yes, left. He did have the decency to leave a message with Obelisk before commandeering one of his dinghies. Should we go after him? Yes, we should. No. We're not the Prince's keepers. He's free to do as he sees fit. I'd rather Bro. he did so in bed. His wounds are nowhere near healed. Much like yours. It'd be good having him on as an ally. What happened in Canver? What is it with this realm's princes and their aversion to rest? Uh, ask me when I get back. Though I may be some time. Then at least try to stay safe. And if that fails, try to stay alive, eh? Every moment 
tight waist here, the further the flagship sails. Ooh, we got a plus quest. It's been a minute. Blacksmith Blue 3! Ooh, please, sir, can I have some more? Oh, this is how we get it. This is how we get it. This has to be how we get it. And Tears of Mercy. I have to get back. All right, let's go grab the one down here. That's how we get that mor uh, Morble. What was it? Morbles? Something. Morble something. Oh, hello there. Sid, do you recall the flowers I had you bring back to the yard? Vaguely. Is something wrong? I'm afraid so. I was able to get most of the Morgan beards to take root, but they rarely flower. I fear the soil here does not agree with them. However, I believe I have a solution. I can't wait to hear it. I'm going to marry the Morgan Beards with Morbles. I know, I know, but hear me out. Morbles are possessed of a highly choleric temperament. The fire which drives them appears to be maintained by an abundance of nutrient-rich ether drawn from their environs. I believe that by grafting a Morble vine to a Morgan Beard, the appendage's wealth of vigor-inducing nutrients might well stimulate the flower to bloom. The endeavor, I assure you, is scientifically sound. I simply need a vine to prove the theory. I'm tripping, bro. Talking morbles or flowers? I don't know why I was thinking of a Marlboro. Marble. That is correct. A single vine. As for the morble, I fear ordinary may not suffice. But... As luck would have it, a most oh okay no I was right is rumored to haunt the swamps of Rosaria. Why, a notice it, concerning I was right, I was right. who was only recently posted on the hunt board. How timely! Well, I shan't keep you any longer. I know you have much to do, as do I. Now where did I put my watering can? <laughs> Are we going to collect all these quests? If it's knowledge you seek. Blackthorn told me you helped him out again. Tough for that. Speaking of which, I'm actually a bit, um... Worried about him. And you want my advice. Afraid so. It's a bit of a funny one, this, but... I saved this posh knob while I was out on a mission, and he gave me this flashy ring to say thank you. So, obviously, I show it to Blackthorn, thinking he'll be impressed, only for him to go white as a sheet and quiet as a curl instead. Try as I might, I can't for the life of me work out what could have got him upset like that. And seeing as how Blackthorn opens up when you're around, I thought maybe... I'd speak to him again. Well, I suppose there's no point leaving him to stew. Cheers, Clive. I'll be sure to pay him a visit as soon as I have a moment. All right, I'll meet you by the forge then. You come along when you're ready. Alright. What's this other quest, Tarja? Or the dude that's in here? Oh, it's the dude. She can't kick this. Glory to Griga. There you are. I'm not a moment too soon. What's happened? 
Taya's busy working herself into an early grave. Since the arrival of her latest patient, she's refused to stop, even for a moment. I've tried offering to see to him in her stead, but she won't hear of it. Clive, she hasn't left the infirmary in days. She's pushing herself too hard. And if she doesn't rest soon, will you talk to her? Order her to her chambers if that's what it takes. Because if she keeps this up, I fear the hideaway will be without its best physica before too long. I know better than to order Taya to do anything. But I'll speak to her. Oh, thank you. I pray you have better luck than I did. Well, Taya, Rodriguez worried about you. And if what he says is true, then so am I. We all admire your dedication, but you do need to rest. I will when it's time. Until then, I'm staying put. We owe him that much. Who is he? Someone from my past. Someone who doesn't deserve to die alone. It won't be much longer. The Crystal's curse has almost finished its work. If I had the tears, I could ease his passing. But without them, we've nothing that will touch the agony of those last few hours. How would tears help this man? Not my tears. Tears of mercy. Alicia, it's the only thing strong enough. You wouldn't, Tyre. Surely. There must be something we can do for him. Sometimes an easy death is the greatest kindness we can offer. You do well to remember that, Rodrigue. I... I, I will. We have all the ingredients we need for Alicia Balwam. It needs to be fresh, though, so we rarely have much to hand. I can make the draft if you can bring me what we're missing. Just tell me what you need. There is a species of venom-weeping spider that lives in the forests of Norvent, near Lorbert's Pass. Bring me one of their eyes. Preserve it as best you can, but avoid contact with the tears. I'll make sure the other ingredients are ready before you return. Thank you, Clive. I won't forget this. Okay. Versus Hunt. I hear your brother is in a fan of carrots, Scoopo. If every carrot of Rosaria is anything, like the one that just got posted on the board, I can see why, Koopo. Damn, that shit looks fierce. It's called carrot. Alright, we got 10 grand for that, 20 renown. It's located the Whispering Waters, Rosaria. If you should come across a red carrot protruding from the marshes of the three reeds. Do not attempt to pull it from the swamp soil. It is, in truth, another root vegetable, entirely an exotic species of marble that uses a modified carrot-like vine as a lure to draw in prey close before emerging from the earth and swallowing them whole. A cruel way for nature to turn these times of privation, privation to her advantage. Look at the map. The Whispering Waters. Well, we'll start off the next part by talking to our good old friend, Blackthorn, and see what's up with him this time. 
I'm assuming maybe he knows the person who made the ring. But we'll find out. I'll see you guys in the next part.